his first look. Wow. First look is nuts. Oh my gosh. No way. Mint? Lions Club Mint. Northeast Lions Club. These are like gemstones, I believe. Three, three floors of total mayhem. What's up everybody? I'm in this super gnarly, intense hoarder house clean out that my friend bought the house basically and he asked me if I wanted anything. But this place is so eerie. A lot of the areas in the house are still like a complete time capsule of the people who lived here before. Check this out. were just still here wow this is almost like a time capsule there's no way you would have all this like... all right what's up everybody welcome back to another video i got a message from somebody i know yesterday and i didn't open the message until today but basically this guy that i know from growing up around here he's around my age he bought this house because he, he buys houses, he rehabs them, and then he resells them. He bought this crazy property. Tomorrow, he's going to have a clean-out crew come over and get rid of everything. So he asked me if I wanted to cruise by the house and see if I wanted anything. I don't know of any other person who would ever be put into this situation, but I'm here. This place is insane looking. The kitchen number one. Massive hoarder house situation filled with trash and possibly some gold stuff that's salvageable. There's a scrapper, a scrap guy here right now and he's got a whole trailer and truckload filled with different scrap. And then there's two dumpsters, two big dumpsters out front that are completely filled. So this was a massacre. Uh, let's go in and check it out. You, got, you guys getting some good scrap out of here? Yeah. Take some metal shit. Unless he's got to pay for it too, he said. Yeah. I said, I'm sure, but there's kids' bikes from middle aged bikes to old people bikes, so I don't know if they were. Here. I think they were just like Big hoarding it. Yeah, hoarders, right? I have this little rig. Two full dumpsters. And this is the front porch. So we're going to do a walkthrough here. See if there's any treasures. I want to get into the actual house to see for sure though. This dude who bought this, super gnarly that he did this. But it doesn't look like it because of everything that's just here, but this is an extremely desirable area on the Jersey coast. The beach is literally, I'm just giving you guys an idea of where we are. So if you can see the houses across the street are probably million dollar houses. And the beach is literally right there. It's one block. Hello. What's up, man? <laughs> Why would they put this in front of the door though? Check this out. Piled, piled. I mean, I've been in a lot of houses like this. This one is really nuts. Look at this, piled. Super ball memorabilia, it looks like. Maybe I need a man. Look at this shower, this is crazy. And then there's another one on this side. Why would they even want that? Maybe it was a boarding house. 
What? Roller skates. Wow. Look at this Barbie bag. And it has Barbie stuff in it. That might be a, that might be something to, to take with me, actually. I'm gonna try to salvage some stuff. Realistically, I don't know how much I'll be able to get, but we're gonna try here. That's a Barbie thing, too. I brought some totes with me, too, to throw this stuff in. So whatever I get, I can actually conceal. He said the back door was open. So, this is his first look. Wow. First look is nuts. Oh my gosh. This is insane, bro. No electricity. Wow. Alright, we're in the belly of the beast. Now the idea is to find some good stuff for the uh, for the auction, hopefully, right? Through all the trash. Maybe there's actually some decent shit. We'll have to see. How would you walk through here? Like, how would you ever live in this? Better question, how could you ever live in this? All the candle and wrapping paper. And the old clock with this silly string on it. Picture of... Atlantic City. Look at this. Soap. Wow. So this is kitchen number one. And this is like kitchen number two, it looks like. Miss America. Wow, see those are cool. Some of the stuff up here might be cool. this. Buttons galore. Wow. This is nuts. Look at this. This costume jewelry. Wow. There's some stuff I could definitely salvage from here. These wine glass things? Wow, those are so cool. And they go with these, I guess, right? Those are sick. And then here's the first floor. Basically the main, the main operation here. Maybe somebody was sleeping right here. Right on the floor. This is a picker's dream though. He knew who to call. Cause I will salvage stuff from here. I'll be here all day actually getting stuff. You don't just leave all this behind unless there's a serious situation that went down. This box looks pretty good. What? Look at this doll. Look at this from the Trump Plaza. A Trump Plaza. This is wild. The situation in here is grim, right? Seriously gnarly. But this is one of, is, is the kind of place where you can find some of the craziest stuff because the people who lived here at one point in their life definitely had some sort of money and they were buying things of value. I can tell just by looking at the stuff that's in here left. If this wasn't as hoarded out, they could have done an estate sale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to salvage some of the best items and do our own estate sale on the WhatNot auction coming up. So please follow our WhatNot page. And if you are not signed up to WhatNot at all, follow our link and you can join. And some of the items from this, look at this. So, so far I got this box, which I'm gonna take. Why the, the martini glass things that are on the wall? For some reason I have a feeling about those, so I'm probably gonna take them. 
Hello, handsome. Brand new cop with the tag. This is going to take a minute to really go through this stuff. What was that? What was that? After being in the house for only about 15 minutes, I heard this really weird sound come from the kitchen. If we're being honest, it freaked me out, but I decided to let it go because this looked like a cool place to look around. Until later. There was like some kind of an animal in here maybe. They already cleaned out half the house. So what I'm gonna do, I brought two of these, only two of these I brought. What was I thinking? I'm gonna fill up these with some of the best stuff that I can find. And then from there. I think there might be a raccoon or something. You heard some noises? I heard something. Oof. Wouldn't be the first time. No, I hear you. The land's more and more than the house. Yeah, way more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or the the house is. But it's big. still is it's redone at one time yeah. recently. It's that's what I was. Thinking. It's not like some of the older ones I've seen or lower older houses that. No, and like you can see that somebody put effort to put nice beach stuff, but then somebody. Yeah, somebody had a, a serious hoarding problem. Uh, this is one kitchen, and then there's another kitchen. It's really. Oh, that's what. Really yeah, look at the back door, it's and I was weird. like, "Hell no, I ain't going in there." Weird. Oh, maybe like a bunch of, a couple families lived here. So. Yeah, there might be a uh, what do you call it? So I wouldn't go back there. Look how crazy oh, this is. All the bread at the casino. They had their flour here. Now look at it. That's some decorative shit there. I need to go to the kitchen, to the bathroom, over there. Like, how does that work? What do you bring? Snow shovels? Or is there? Yeah, yeah, they will. I'm sure. Is that what they do. Yeah. It's got to be more than one person. Yeah. Holy! There's no way you would have all this. Like, goddamn! Wow. That's too much for me. Look at this. All the ladies' shoes were just still here. Wow. This is almost like a time capsule. Duh. Ten bucks. And this? There's a lot of like vintage stuff in here though. A cigarette. A rosary. That's all stuff from a rack. And then look. This rack hasn't even hardly been been touched. My feeling that the person that lived here was a party animal. A party girl. I feel like. I gotta really do my due diligence on this house though and take it like a gander. Lucy the elephant. Look at this. Pins. There's another container, just like the ones I have. There's another lot of clothes in here. Some more vintage clothes, straight up. Actually true, no joke. Not all vintage, but some of these are. Wow. Wow. I'm not gonna say there's not a lot, there's not stuff that has value in here, but the majority of this stuff is terrible and just weird. And almost the question is, is why? These are like religious artifacts. Check this out. Towels. Galore. Packed in. is this? Are these mints? Lions Club mints. A whole box. Wow. This is all the stuff that was on the front porch. I'm just going to admit to you guys 
that I am unprepared for what I walked into here today. I don't know where to start. I do know that there is some type of value in some of this stuff. I gotta wear this. I was gonna say, obviously they've already been here, right? We know that because there's two dumpsters filled. So anything that's left is gonna be trash. Well, my plan is to salvage however many items. So this is what I got going so far as I can to, you know, resell again. So let's get into it. I didn't go upstairs yet. Do a walkthrough and then from there, I'll kind of evaluate what's actually worth getting and then I'll take some stuff back home. And then if I want to come back tonight, I'll just come back. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. As of right now, I wouldn't say there was much in here that was high value. There's just weird little things like this that are still in the packaging. You gotta put the, all right. They just went up here, the, the guys that were scrapping the stuff. This is gnarly. And they said it was gnarly. That's all I was gonna say, whoa. Look at this. This is insane. So all this is gonna be trashed? I wonder how long it's been like this. And like somebody just pulled the drawers out and dumped them. Or that was the trash people. I don't know how this looked when they first got here, but this is nuts. Wow. Even this is cool. I have a feeling it's been sitting like this for a minute. These could be worth something. There's a third floor. This one was an overturned situation here. Workout tapes, beach towels. Strat tricks. What is this? Smart tech. An eerie feeling made me drop the box right here. And at this point, I was starting to feel uneasy, but I just pushed through. Wow. Something just freaked me out and I just like dropped it. This says napkins, but it's actually, drum roll, hats. The amount of stuff in here that could be donated to someone though. I don't know what, I don't know what I would do with it to be honest. Bathroom. This one was for an adult, I guess. Cause it looks like grown woman clothes and shoes and everything. Wow. This is rough. Yo, Hi. It, it ain't right in here. Let me see this. Let me turn this light on because we just got back. I was, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Three, three floors of total mayhem. Three floors, it's three stories? This one's not that crazy. But yeah, this is, it's like a typical clean out like <gasps> we've been doing. This is not a typical clean out, that is crazy. Look at this, how, how much of a time capsule this is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, even the stuff on the walls. Was this somebody, this was a little girl. All right, so what I figured out is this is actually potentially a gold mine. This house was making me completely on edge. What was that? Oh, it was just the door. I 
was gonna say this is actually a gold mine because like look at this racing yachts 1938 framed tobacco cards a history of them whatever they are if they are anything they could be worth money all right moving on to the next piece that was on the wall the lucy the elephant one of 50 prints i love lucy no idea what that is there's a lot of people that collect lucy stuff around here because of how close we are these are some kind of significant artwork because they have maybe paperwork with them they're tin i think and then i put something already in my car wow like this is a clean closet look at this this is kind of like nice for someone wow this is like an estate sale but i just get to pick anything for free i could just lot up another vintage lot look at this three box super ball shirt wow leather jackets columbia jacket i'm gonna need a bigger bigger boat here wow no way coming up now this is turning into a good pick right this minute with some leather jackets and what is this a gnarly vintage lion's jacket northeast lions club the homie's name was ted ted's got some flair though i'm not even gonna lie about it ted has some fire well, I'm gonna need some 50 more of these totes. I do have like 10 more at the house that are empty though. I might bring them back. These are actually pretty cool. I don't know that they will make the cut. They're cool. We got handmade blankets out the wazoo. Not sure what this is. It has a picture. It probably has like monuments from the town. Maybe Margate, I don't know. This is probably, this is actually probably real. I don't, I mean, I don't like fur, but at the same time, if it's gonna get thrown out, I might have to maybe rescue it. Maybe, maybe. This stuff is, it's definitely on the iffy side of uh, of life here. This is a Super Bowl. These are, these are kind of like must take type scenario. Just because it's an NFL uh, 2006 Super Bowl, 2005, Jacksonville. I mean, I don't know. Could be worth something. Yo, pure Mongolian cashmere. You're kidding. How did the moss not eat this? What? I did not see this coming. How do you get your hands on a Trump Plaza leather jacket? Another one, two. Wow. This is like from a musical, like a costume. They had to have worked at Trump Plaza, I guess. Or they just went there a lot. Here we go. It's another one. That's an XL. Check this out. This is a Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Freaking trench coat. Has to be have some value. It has to. I just don't see how that wouldn't. The Harry Potter room. And then what do we got in here? These are Nikes. And these are... A jacket. Birthday stuffed animals, I guess. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything back here. These are cool though. Suspenders. Look at this. 
vintage London fog jacket. Trench coat in green. That is so nice, actually. <laughs> Such a cool jacket. Check that out. Be kind, rewind. That's a score. Hot and cold laminator, that might be a, a come up. What kind of stuff is in here? Elizabeth Taylor collection. It seems like casino giveaways. That's what it's looking like to me. Jewel butterfly garden ball. All right, we're doing double cameras here. I've never seen the top floor here yet. But so far, this is one of the craziest things I've ever experienced, so. The playbills, those might be worth something. Wow. This is super gnarly in here. VHS tapes. Those are what's up. No way. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. It goes on and on forever. So I'm like trying to film everything, but I need to get at least some of the stuff that's actually valuable. Like this Christmas tree for one. Out of here. And back downstairs, at least into a pile. So I'm probably going to cut filming for a second and really just start bringing a few things that I know I'm going to take downstairs. Alright, more clothes. These are vintage clothes. Ah, uh, definitely. What is this? Outfit. A literal cowboy outfit. This is super cool, actually. I need this. I really need this, actually. That's nice. I could see myself in this. Could you see me in this? Insanities of... Lactic fur. This is a fur. Yes, that's a fur, too. What is going on here? Some of this clothing is crazy. Mademoiselle furs. It's crazy because I just sold a lot of vintage clothes and they all had like dry cleaner plastic on them. And now it's almost like, this is a Vanity Fair. What is this? These have like dry cleaning slips on them too, some of them. Lot these up and sell them as a lot. It's raining out, so I don't even know how I'm gonna get home with all this stuff. Even this Lark hat. Basket is actually pretty valuable, I think. The zipper works the whole way around. I just zipped it. Wait, what? What? Sock monkey socks? Like actual socks? What? Those are so cool. Is this a Care Bear though? And how old is it? Because that could be a, a gold score right there. Wow. The amount of stuff in this room. Oh, doll clothes in here. And this horse? Wow. Raccoon in a dumpster. That's probably a real thing. This horse, though, where's the top of this? This is a gnarly horse. American girl, I gotta take this. Some VHS tapes. An old Barney thing. Polly Pocket. From what year though? There's a lot of stuff in here. That could be good. Could be real good. I'm just like squishing it though. Because there's so much. Alright guys, I'm going to probably run out of tape here. I didn't know this was going to be this crazy. I'm probably going to run out of battery soon. Doesn't look like anything of 
super high value though. That's the only thing. So this was picked up from the cleaners in 2005 and it's just still in the packaging. All right, so this is, says Lindenwald Fine Jewelers and there's like all these gems and stuff in here and a couple rings. These are like gemstones, I believe. I gotta go into this in more detail later. Is this CDs? Wow. Un unopened Christmas stuff. It's pouring out. I'm soaking wet. For anybody who thought getting the gold was an easy task, you must not have been on very many gold getting missions. This is the only opportunity, the only window that I'm gonna ever have to get stuff out of this house. And tomorrow, by tomorrow, the next day, it'll all be gone in the trash. Even though it's fully storming out. No way, it's like fully storming out. Did you guys see that? I'm going for it, I'm going for round two. This is turning into one super heavy, gnarly mission that I'm not gonna give up on. So I brought back a whole load of stuff. I got three empty containers, two trash bags to put clothes in that I could probably put in the back because once they're tied, it's not gonna get wet. I'll squeeze one maybe here and one here. My hat's literally soaking wet. It's storming outside fully. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up because maybe I'm just an idiot that I'm even in that dirty house even trying to get stuff. But I feel like it's the pick of a lifetime. I'm not even gonna lie. And we head back for round two. We're back again taking a slightly different approach to the situation i got a headlamp and i'm just gonna try to bust out and get everything that i might want quickly and get the f out of here because it is so creepy in here because the computer was set up at the printer and everything and then just piled on over the years This is absolute mayhem. Okay, this was the last straw. I left the house and locked the door for sure. And when I returned about 40 minutes later, the door was unlocked. Uh, at this point, I was just feeling over it and overwhelmed by the energy in the house. So I loaded up the rest of the stuff and got the heck out of there. All right, so this is some of the stuff that I found. I don't know what the nun doll is all about. It does smell like mothballs, to be honest. But this stuff could be worth money. Why does it smell so strong? I guess because there is mothballs in here, maybe. I don't know what to do. I think I might have to put that in the back of the truck, the way that smells. Look at this dress. This is like unbelievably epic. Look at this. So this is obvious that these people were in plays and pageants. This is dress clothing. That's like a knight's outfit too, right there. So the uh, neighbor came out and he was asking me about the house, which I don't know anything about the house. So I started asking him questions because I said I, said I was just there because the owner told me to go there. But he said that the guy who built the house was the owner of the house. He passed away and then his wife was aging. So ended up moving maybe into an old age home. That was not last summer, but the summer before that. So the house has been sitting for, he thinks like two years, he said. Maybe not quite two years. 
but still it's just been completely vacant for over a year and a half which is kind of long but now it's done we're out i could go in there for the next 10 hours and just look through stuff but i'm not gonna do it i got a bunch of good stuff and i'm just going home now and it's crazy because the storm just broke the whole time i was getting stuff storming as soon as i stop the sun comes out made it back home that's it for today i'm not going back farewell to all the stuff i could have got from there because there was a lot but i am still happy with what i got and the stuff we already brought back and some things i just didn't take even if i showed it i might not even have taken it overwhelming is the word that you would use for that place look at this squad beautiful day out here today the rain is gone hopefully for a while and the sun came out for finley to have her little beach day here fan fan what are you doing just had some eggies and what's up just enjoying this nice weather it's a little bit windy but it's not as bad as it it could be so this is the Summers Point Beach. We've been here before with everybody on the video. But, uh, so it's actually the bay, but the, the actual beach part is really nice. Really nice, look at this. They just had the Summers Point Bay Fest this past weekend. We didn't go to it, but they made this sand sculpture. And it's still holding up pretty good even after the rain. And this is the public dock here. I'm gonna take you all out on the dock for a second. It's got some breakfast from one of our favorite places. Hot bagels. We ate it on the beach down here at the Summers Point Beach. Beautiful day out. As you guys know from watching the video yesterday, it was storming all day. So I got all of this stuff that I rescued and I only had a few hours to go through the whole three-story house and try to salvage what I could. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I will say it was sad because I wanted, I needed more time and a whole nother day to look through the stuff because I know there's about 10 times what I got that was good. But uh, we're gonna go back home in a little bit and I'm gonna bust everything out and show all of it in detail. Oh, she's all about the camera. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, just got back and checked this out. 40 bucks. I just sold a, we sold a table when we were out and the people bought it, took it away. And today also, I think we're gonna sell this mannequin that came from the clutter auction. So that's a $50 piece, sold the table for 40. The guy should be here to get that any minute. Day is actually gonna be a busy day, but also a mellow day. We're gonna investigate and look at all the stuff that we got yesterday at the hoarder pick. And it was some good stuff, like look at this. I don't even know what this is called, but that is some serious artwork. It's encased in glass and it's all, I don't even know, is it, it's made out of like bone or seashells or, there's no markings on the back, but there is like a, a mark there, probably the signature. But that's just the, the icing on the cake. There's a lot of other stuff I still haven't shown yet, I don't think. These four containers I got in that container, the box. So it was, a, it was a decent amount of stuff. The pictures and stuff up there, the hat container. We got some like $400 probably worth of stuff just out of the trash yesterday. 
picking from literal trash so i'm excited to really dig in and see what we actually got because it was pouring raining out and i i just couldn't really look at this stuff in detail all right this is not really where i wanted to be i can't stop situation like what happened yesterday so now we're packed in here so i have this plan so I, well there's a lot of scrap right in this area and it looks terrible who is this this is my mom yeah What'd you got? Some taco stuff? Blue corn. I got this kind of bean that I never bought before, but I got this bean. A yogurt, probably for Sammy because, and that. So you knew what you were doing there? Yeah, I spent 154 bucks. Like this, this kind of oh, stuff sorry, that I wrapped a, up. No way. Oh my gosh, yeah. People and it has, it's shit. like somebody's, uh, you know, somebody made it somebody in 91. Well, you can How funny is that? It. <laughs> the date they made it was one, one day, day after, after your, you my birthday and after the same were, year one too. One day after you were born. That's kind of weird actually, actually right? Yeah, I might not even want to sell it. <laughs> no, you'd have to sell it. So all this Look stuff. This. That's an antique suitcase. You that's can for a hat cat, uh, case, yeah. It's cool. It's a lark too. It's really cool. You could sell that for a lot. And this is prime whatever, the, whatever it is. Stamps. Stamps, yeah. That's a Native American art under there. And then you got to see this is the craziest one. It's just containers, but look at this. This is made in like Japan or China. Oh my gosh. <coughs> it's really cool. What I is mean, it? it's not my style, but it's really cool. I don't know. Do you think it could be? It's not ivory, do you think? I thought it looked like bone. It's carved yeah. something. Oh, it's some kind of bone. It could be ivory. You should find out how much that before you sell it that is crazy looking right it's awesome looking i mean it's really cool that would look right good in the right setting it's really cool if you had an asian inspired like bathroom or den it's really cool i mean it probably cost you 20 bucks to clean it. super bald leather that's that's moldy but moldy as hell. you know what is that in the shed this shed it was this it was in that shed oh, that's not just get um, I, saying, like, you don't some of that I don't put any of this no, up just now. Just get some of that mold cleaner. And you know what's down. more it's amazing than the actual mold? The fact that I didn't even know it had mold on it because it was so dark in there. Right. That's a scary Like story. I could see it a little bit, but it didn't look like that. Yeah, but you can just wipe <laughs> it down. <laughs> I was doing that. Okay, so this is basically what I plundered yesterday what I scored. These are lion's blankets and they're basically like landmarks in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania, I think. Falsington. Those aren't that important. American Girl doll horse without the box. It was just in the styrofoam, so I just took it. These pots, very unknown value. I didn't look this up yet, but I'm about to. Three of these wine glasses. So I got these pictures. They were like the first thing I got. The Atlantic City mug, which is a classic for sure. I got, this is the other martini glass. Oh yeah, this pottery. I forgot about that. This was actually a nice, pretty nice score. Is it chipped right there? No, I think it's, I think it's not. I gotta check out what these are. Just out of curiosity. These are tin. This is the other piece to the pottery. So, little ship picture, nautical stuff. And then the Barbie stuff, half of it's in here, half of it's in the other one. All right, here we go. We might have something right here. One set, one pair of vintage enamel art panels by Louis Cardin. Virtually the same size. 1970s collectors, 800 bucks they're asking for it. This single piece right here, 650. What else we got? That one's like 90, not that bad. Two, this one's 180 for one, this one for one is 235. So for this set, maybe a couple hundred bucks for these, actually. The only problem is finding somebody that would actually wanna buy them. I'm gonna use Facebook as my main source for this. This was from 78, don't know the date on this one, doesn't say. 
This one has less information, but it does have that sticker on the back making me think that it was a limited run, maybe. Obviously. There's the receipt from that. They paid $80 for it. Fine Arts Gallery of Ardmore, Inc. Maybe it was an auction. Customer number 50. And it looks like it was $14 to do the frame back in the day. One of my titties don't pop out. All right, presenting all the goods. This is what I got. You like it? I feel like normal <laughs> normal girls would get excited about Barbies. I, I don't never, know what kind of value they have. I mean, I don't know any. I don't know anything about Barbies personally. I didn't play with them. I've had Barbies when I was little, but I used to just chew on their legs. This one has pr maybe older stuff in it, though, potentially, <laughs> or just garbage, because that was the general consensus. Somebody of will like the Barbies. There are like Barbie people out there that collect Barbie stuff. Like the Minnie Mouse bag. Like uh, I remember like my that. cousin Christy. I remember she used to have, like in her room, there was like a corner cut out with like shelves and she had all the Barbies. I guess my aunt would get her like all the collectible Barbies and none of them were opened. They were all unopened. I'm gonna have to ask her what, whatever happened to those Barbies tomorrow. Like she had, the whole wall was just filled with these like collectible Barbies. Oh, that thing's weird. So, the martini glasses. Wow, there's like Barbie clothes in here. That's what I'm saying. Is this a, what is this? Is this a, a sports bra? For a... For a doll maybe, right? Ah, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know, that's weird. These are good. <laughs> wow. Wait, are these originals? Yeah, they're, fr they're like, uh... Wait, really? Pretty expensive online. Lucky. All this gold. This is really nice and the frames are good too. The martini glasses. These were cool. I saw these yesterday. The estate jewelry we got. These are really, really, really cool. Like if I drank martinis, I would keep those. Because <laughs> they're so cute. And so girly. Super, uh, what would they call that? Art deco, right? Vibe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. They would say that, yeah. <laughs> Skin part was coming it's been there, there from Woo. the 70s, so it better be vintage. It even comes with a shaker. These are really cool, though, because these go with it. Any real jewelry? Any I don't think Chanel? so. I mean, it was dug through anyway. A little Chanel piece right there. Because it doesn't matter any. The dust? No, dude, no. It's in my eye. Check out this, though. Keep this one. This was from the talk of the walk, yep. Yeah, this one's... This is gold. This is gold. Atlantic City. I can't believe a piece of dust got in my Look at like, this. Look at this. The sweater and the... Uh, oh, wait. I had one of these. That dress? It was the black one. Remember? We got it from that... How's the sweater under sale? here, though? Classic. If it was a lot bigger. Wow. This Classic, dress. mademoiselle. Wow. All the furs in town. Wow. I'll go through the clothes in more detail eventually. But look at this mink. Who would wear this? And why would anyone think that that was cool? Kind of have to film in between the wind. But I'll run down the clothes now. I think this is real fur. We got this vintage men's shirt. This was fresh from the attic. It was posted in there in 2014, according to this. So it's been in there for quite some time. We got the non doll. A little leprechaun. A little leprechaun doll. A little extra package here. We got all the dolls. This one is quite weird, I have to say. Ugh. It smells like mothballs.
furthermore, we have even more dolls. I'm getting rid of the container. It smells like mothballs. Uh, I need more time to actually deal with this stuff, take pictures of it, post it. But for now, I have to set up the other area for the auction. Bean Bean, look. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that pretty girl? I get guy. All right, guys and gals. So this upcoming Monday, um, we are going to be having our second auction. Uh, it's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I can't with your smirk <laughs> in the back. And action. Take two. Okay. What's up, guys and gals? Uh, if you enjoyed our last whatnot auction, this upcoming. All right, do it again. Okay, outfit change, I say. I had to get comfy. I was just over the jeans. So, okay. This upcoming Monday at 6 p.m., it's going to be our second whatnot auction. We're going to have a bunch of nostalgic items. For all my costume jewelry ladies, we're going to have various costume jewelry items, like little gems and stuff, a little preview. Um, we're going to have records, are those vintage McDonald's, <laughs> crusty Those things. are the only things sitting on the auction right now that have pre-bids on it, so don't be talking <laughs> bad about my McDonald's containers. Alright, they're not crusty then. Okay, we're going to have these records, we're going to have that Barbara Streisand thing. The DVD collection. There you go. <laughs> um, and these. And more stuff. And more stuff. But this is a little preview. And for those of you who didn't join us the last time and might not have a what not. Um, bro, this mom brain is real. Okay. If you're not a what not member, I will call it. Uh, sign up and you'll get $15 spending money and then if you already have an account just come see us and hang out with me and Bean. You have to use our our link right there. See it? It's at the, it's in the description and if you sign up through our link, you'll get $15 to spend. You got anything else to say? Um No, that's pretty much it. All right, see you <laughs> next time. <laughs> Bean. Yeah, Bean will be at the auction too. Okay. A are you gonna, little bit. Are you going to be there, Bean? Okay. Until you get tired? Until mom gets tired. We're also going to be auctioning off this vintage Splash Mountain towel, which some people may know that Splash Mountain closed. I'm trying to think of anything else that we got that's good. We're going to be doing a giveaway of these action figures. So. If you come by and you're in the auction, you'll be automatically entered into that giveaway. And what I wanted to say is all items, every item, we hope to have a hundred things. What? All right, Bean? Was going to start at just one dollar, Bean. <laughs> yeah, just one dollar. <laughs> so that's what's so cool about the auction. You never know what you could get. Uh, I think we're going to continue doing it like that. Just one dollar bids to start and go from there. See y'all at the auction. Peace out.